In this video, we're going to be installing a pressure reducing valve on a system that did not have one. The homeowner had close to 100 PSI on the system and there was no regulator currently installed. After I provided a couple of different options, she decided to have the PRV installed to address the issue. Whenever I'm installing a PRV, I always try to replace everything from the meter all the way up to the new valve. That way it's all new piping and I know everything was done properly. We have a lot of ground movement here too, so the PVC tends to break often, so I always try to replace as much of that as possible. I know I'm going to get comments about it because I always do. Yes, the PRVs here are installed in the ground. We install them directly after the city water meter. That way the water service line from the meter to the home is also regulated. We do install valve boxes. That way we have access to the shutoff valve and PRV, and so the valves are not directly buried in the soil. There are a lot of different locations that people have these valves installed. Really, it's a regional preference, and whatever works best for your area is going to be the correct way of doing it. Anyways, hope y'all enjoyed the